What are you doing here? Uh, long story. Do anything else? His thing. He took his thing out. His thing. His thing. And what happened then? Kitchen. Yeah, what is it? I'm DC White from Bridewell Police Station. This is DS McMullen. What do you want? An allegation of gross indecency has been made against you, Mr. Kitchen, by a minor. That's impossible. Oh, yeah? Well, we're now arresting you on suspicion of that offence. Hey. Have you heard what's going on? Yeah, Frank just called. They're bringing a guy in. He's taking it pretty badly. Something you should hear. Tell her. Just didn't occur to me before. I suppose I'm still in a state of shock, really. I mean, I know Peter Kitchen. It's hard to believe. Not that anything's been proven yet, of course. Well, what is it? Well, it might not be relevant, but... You remember I told you she'd had a hard time with it recently? Simone. Yeah? A close friend of hers, Carly Morris, killed herself recently. With her mother's sleeping pills. So what? So you think Simone's story is unreliable? Well, she's making stuff up because her friend killed herself. No. No, I meant... Carly was a pupil of Peter's as well. Kitchen's ready for us in two. Okay. Then the interview strategy? Yep. I want to lead. You always want to lead. Yeah, that's because I like talking. And you like staring moodily across the table like Steve McQueen. That's why I lead. Hard to understand why your boyfriend ran off with his secretary like that. Someone's friend that killed herself. We'll have to see the parents, yeah? Okay. I'll tell Howard. Oh, by the way, Julie asked me to remind you not to forget uh, Patrick's thingy tonight. Oh, yeah. Not that you've forgotten or anything. You coming? Um, yeah. Why? Oh, nothing. It's just I love it when your whole family turns on you and starts ripping you to bits. On the other hand, I might be sick. You sure you don't want a solicitor present, Mr. Kitchen? No, I just want to get this over with so I can go home. These allegations are very serious. It's not just something you can get over with so you can go home. God knows I'm aware of that, thank you. Mr. Kitchen, we want to ask you about your relationship with Simone Kelly. I don't really have a relationship with Simone Kelly. I teach her the piano, full stop, end of story. And once a week she comes to the house, she sits down at the piano, she goes through her exercises, the end of the hour she goes home, and until she comes again the following week, I don't see her. 
So when we take you back to the sports shop in St. John's Centre where you bought some on the trainers, no one's going to recognise you? I don't know what you're talking about. Mr. Kitchen, have you ever bought Simone Kelly a pair of Nike training shoes? Why would I do that? Yeah, well, that's what you're here to tell us. Look, you've got to believe me. Whatever she said, she's making it up. Why would she do that, Mr. Kitchen? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to speculate on a motive. She, she could be having some sort of breakdown, for all I know. To cry for attention. Attention? Look, I told you I don't know. People in my position are very vulnerable to this sort of thing. What position? I don't know, father figures, authority figures, whatever. What sort of thing? Well, untrue allegations. Have you ever had allegations made against you before? Of course not. Oh, God, it's a nightmare. Do... Just let me ask you. Have you got any physical proof? Have you got any shred of evidence to back up what she says? Where'd you find your work? Word of mouth, mostly. Um, I get some through the church. I've got a card in the newsagents. All young girls? No. All sorts. All ages. Both sexes. You're not from Liverpool? I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm finding this a bit... Um... Where are you from, Mr. Kitchen? Staffordshire, originally near Stoke. What brought you over here? A relationship. It didn't work out, but I stayed. With a woman? Yeah, of course, with a woman. What do you think, a table? It might have been a man. Or a child. I see. Well, it wasn't. What was the woman's name? It ended badly. We lost touch. Now you live alone? Yeah, I like it. Where were you living before that? In Wolverhampton, I was teaching. At a school? Yeah, secondary school. You move around a lot, Mr. Kitchen. Not really. Every now and again, I get the urge to move on, you know. Are you in a relationship now? You think I'm guilty, don't you? Could you answer the question? Do you know what the cruelest thing in all this is? How do you prove that something never happened? Best I can hope for is that you just drop it for lack of evidence. There's never going to be any proof either way. That's how it works, isn't it? Are you in a relationship? Do you know what that feels like? I mean, a couple of hours ago, I was home playing the piano, not care in the world, wondering what I was going to have for lunch, whether I was going to have a sandwich or finish off the pasta from last night, and then suddenly everything's changed. I'm changed. It's never going to be the same again, is it? Do you know what that feels like? It feels like your whole life's been stolen away. Can I report that? My life's been stolen away. One careful owner, last seen in Egbert. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You were asking whether I was in a relationship. With a woman? Not at the moment, no. You visit prostitutes? Pardon? Have you had any sexual contact with any prostitutes? What's that got to do with anything? Do you visit prostitutes for the purposes of sexual relief? Dear God, no. Have you ever taken your penis out of That's it, that's it. I've had enough of this. Sit down and answer the question. No, it's, it's disgusting. You're disgusting. I've never heard anything like this in my life. Do you know Carly Morris, Mr. Kitchen? I want a solicitor. Okay, where are we? He's going off guilty. He's a cunning, lying bastard. Callie. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I just don't know, that's all. I can't believe you fell for all that bollocks. Joe, what'd you get from the Morrises? Well, they're divorced, and it was nasty, which, by the way, is sort of what they put Carly's suicide down to. But they both loved our Mr. Kitchen. Family friend, the rock in the sea of troubles, trusting with our lives, blah, blah. He even wrote a special piece of music for Carly's funeral service. Which either makes him a victim in all this, or the sickest sick bag that ever was. Could the girl be making it up? No way. You can't be sure of that, though, can you? No, you weren't there. He hasn't got a record. What does that prove? What if she's making half of it up? What? What if what's happened to her has happened, only it's not Kitchen, it's someone else. Like her dad. This is going to be a messy long runner. 
Have we got the resources for this? Oh, so now we're a sergeant. That's a fair point, Polly. No, it's not. It's bollocks. It's his job to make those judgments. So tell me what his job Come is. Come on, you two. I can't believe you're wimping out on me like this. I'm not wimping out. It's kitchen. I just know it is. The last time you just knew it was, it wasn't, was it? That is really shitty of you to bring that up. You just get too emotionally involved sometimes. You can talk, you two-faced old bastard. We should do it. Otherwise, what are we here for? Oh, yeah. Stick up for your girlfriend, why don't you? Let's take a break, eh? I'm starving. Simone, I want to ask you about your friend Carly Morris. She had music lessons with Peter Kitchen, too. Yeah. Can you tell us what you told us happened to you? Did Carly ever talk to you about anything like that? No. Do you have any idea why she might have killed herself? I think she was unhappy. But you do this all the time. Is she making it up? Making it up? All of it? Or just some of it? I don't know. I don't think so. But the truth is, you can never be sure. You want to go for a walk or something? No, I think I'll just stay here, thanks. Okay. Anyone seen Frank as well on the phone? Last time I saw him, he was headed towards Hell's office. There's old potato with it. The chief inspector's out at a meeting. Right. John Sullivan. The proposition is very simple. He wants to turn informant. Dear God. Well, he says he has information. Serious information. He wasn't specific. Oh, quite the opposite. Does he want money? He picked me up in a Bentley. So why is he doing it? Well, I'm not sure I should mention this, but um, I think his, his motives might be partly sexual. You think he finds you attractive? I've had that impression, yes. I expect you think that every man finds you attractive, don't you? Sorry? Is that a problem? No. Good. You've told no one about this? Of course not. All right. Get back to Sullivan. Find out what he has. With extreme caution. You are such an old woman, Jones. To have John Sullivan as an informant, imagine... He knows the underworld of this city like no one else. I mean, what a prize. With something like that, we can afford to stick our necks out just a little bit further. Your neck. Don't worry about him, Paul. His divorce has given him hell. Yeah. By the way, I'm sorry about what I said to you before. No, don't worry about it. I don't know how you feel. Listen, you take care of John Sullivan. There's a game going on there, and I don't understand it. 